What's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Level, my first review of 2018 with my buddy Steve O. How's it going, everybody? Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year to you, too, Carlos. All the best. We're Thank going to start you. off this year with a classic, a goodie from Amouage called Lyric Man. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. a while ago already this is kind of on the old side yeah mm -hmm. 2008 2008 almost yeah 10 years now yeah right? I for some reason never gravitated towards trying this one I don't think that I have watched reviews either but I've seen it around and mentioned and stuff I know it's definitely a darling of like Renee's I just love this one mm -hmm. and I found out when we were in California together that it smells really great on a person. Mm -hmm. Our friend Michael James, who founded 1850 Parfum, he was wearing it and it was like, whoa, what are you wearing? Yeah. It smelled fantastic. Now, I stayed away from this one because in my head, I thought that it was a really overly rosy, lush, juicy, too much yeah. type of fragrance. I just never bothered smelling it. Yeah. From all the pictures that I've seen from the bottle, gives you that kind of feeling. It's beautiful gorgeous bottle for sure it couldn't be more the opposite of what I thought that it was in my head <laughs> that's right so what are the, some of the notes in this beautiful fragrance here well obviously there's rose right yes. if the presentation didn't give that away uh, we also have lime bergamot musk incense angelica some other green notes I believe fur is another one in there as well um, but it's really dominated by notes of lime, bergamot, musk, and rose. The rose is not as forefront as I imagined it was going to be. This actually has a very fresh vibe about it. Mm -hmm. I thought this was going to be a dark, incense-y, like almost too much type of fragrance. It projects really well. That yeah. I will tell you because I smelled Michael from across the table. Yeah. We were outside. We were outside eating outside at a restaurant by the uh, California Marina there, and uh, I smelled him like it kept every few minutes. I kept getting a whiff of him. Yeah, which is what prompted me to go out and pick it up because I was like, "Whoa, I have to review this one. <laughs> this smells really fast." What kind of experience have you had with this one? So I've owned this one for a couple of years now, and I've worn it a lot. Um, it truly is one of my favorite fragrances. It's great for the spring. It's so easy to wear. I just think the rose smells so natural. And there are a couple of rose scents that I have in my collection. I know Cartier Dune Soir is another great rose scent that people talk about interminably. Um, there's also Imogen Rose by Lush Parfum. That's a great one. Or Gorilla Parfum, excuse me. Rose 31. Rose 31 is on um, the spicier side of things. And um, this one is just a very fresh, clean, and mildly citrusy rose. Um, there's only one thing that kind of throws me off here. It's the incense. Um, if it's in there, it's very faint. Very faint. There's nothing smoky about it, and it doesn't bear a characteristic of frankincense that you would normally get, especially from fragrances like Silver Factory by Bond or Cardinal by Healy. I think it's very well put together. Um, you said you didn't- Lasts for hours. Uh-huh. This lasted 24 hours, not projecting for 24 hours, but on my skin, 24 hours. Good. Uh, let's clear this up too, because I know the magnetic cap is the reformulation, mm -hmm. and I have, I guess, what's the original formulation. Uh, some fragrances have been reformulated from the line, like yeah, I think Epic sure. Man has undergone a reformulation. Jubilation 25. Mm. So what I'm hearing is that a lot of these fragrances, there was just l a lower concentration of aromatic compounds. So but it's still the same exact scent. So. Please don't be fearful, uh, don't worry. It does smell just like the very first Lyric Man that came out in 2008. This doesn't smell like anything that I've smelled before. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smell overly amouage in my right, opinion. Right. And it falls in line more with the other one that's a pop of, um, what is the other one that everybody? Another amouage? That is like a, Interlude, epic, no, Dia, no, 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 gold, silver, no, no, myths, no, Bracken. it's one of the older ones. Oh, okay, Atar, no, uh, 
It's fresh, almost. Seal man, maybe? Maybe seal or reflection? That's the one, reflection. That's the one I was trying to one of my get favorites. out of my mouth again. <laughs> so, this is more in line with the easier to wear ammo wise than the harder to wear like Myths Man or... Oh yeah, you know, that's, I couldn't agree that's more. That's the point, people. Okay, wrap. <laughs> I spent 10 minutes on trying to get my thought out of my head. So it, it is easy to wear. I have to totally agree. Uh, there are some that were a little bit too out there for me. Myths Man is definitely on the daring side. I would have a hard time recommending that to people. Although I think it's a very creative scent, um, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. I enjoyed that one. I really? Remember. Yeah, I gave that one a good review. Wow, I did, the purple bottle. I did bottle. enjoy that one. Yeah. But my latest love is Beach Hut Man. We know how much I love, I love. Beach Hut Man. And I didn't so love good. Beach Hut Woman as much as I did Man, but mm -hmm. that's another story. And uh, the Bopsy Twins is courtesy of Mrs. Red Lessons. Thank you, Jen. That was very sweet of you. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that, <laughs> get that out of the way. Did you guys go shopping together? No, she told me she saw it. Said, she, said that, she said she had to. She couldn't resist. She saw them like, okay, this is my guys. Yeah, uh, gotta take credit. <laughs> Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do you guys have any experience with Lyric Man? Actually, one of my first amours ever was the can of Lyric Woman. Oh, cool. Which is on the incense -y side and much incense-ier than this. Mm -hmm. I don't get incense from this. Yeah, me neither. But I love it. I do love it and it could work its way up to my top fragrances ever. My top 20 fragrances wow. ever. I do like it a lot. Wow, that's awesome. But... <laughs> To, to try and determine that list will take a year in itself, I think, for me. Yeah, I mean, with all the fragrances in your collection, and how can you really objectify something so yeah. subjective, you know? Yeah, very hard. So, hope you enjoyed this presentation. Happy New Year to all of you. If you'd like to get a 10 mil to Canada, I would love to do that. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to Steven. Thank you. Like and share this video, leave one comment down below with what your favorite rose fragrance is or what your favorite Emma Wash fragrance is. I will leave the winner down below in the comment section pinned to the top in a week's time, so don't forget to come back. I do not make a video announcing the winners. This is how it's been for the last two to three months, so if you've won, you have to come back to this video and check out and see. Less if, clutter. Yes. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you have been a subscriber, click on that bell thing so you don't miss notifications on any of our stuff that we put out there for you to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.